When I uh, received the phone call telling me um, that season two is happening, I was, um, well, I was just extremely happy. I actually started to cry because I was, I was really missing the whole team, uh, the whole crew. Yeah, and it was just a great feeling. I was, I was actually missing Lucrezia a lot. She kind of, um, she kind of feels like, like a sister to me in a way. It's very weird, yeah. One, and two, three, and hop. One, two, three, and hop. I love playing Lucrezia because um, she has so many different levels of emotions. Especially last season, she was kind of a little, a little girl and she was showing her emotions everywhere. And now she's much more, um, she keeps it much more to herself. I think which is interesting for me is that as Lucrezia grew up from season one to season two, I as well grew up as he's older from season one to season two. So it's kind of the fact, uh, this is the fact I kind of can, can put into my acting as well. She, she starts to manipulate, uh, manipulate people as well, which is very um, interesting to, to see, I think. When I was younger, I have never thought I will play such a historical ro role as Lucrezia Borgia. I actually have never thought I will ever play someone who really was alive, which I think is such an honor. Just the thought that this person existed someday and uh, she might have been like similar to the things we, we, we show in the show. Um, it, it's just interesting, incredible, I love it. The main things that are different for me are the, um, the stories of Rodrigo Cesare and Lucrezia are kind of separate. So everyone is struggling with their own problems. Everyone is struggling to get over the death of um, Juan. Yeah, that's, that's basically the biggest difference for me. I think what makes the show so unique is it's psychologically very deep and kind of uh, it relates to, to, to people um, in our time as well, especially like the young people um, in the Renaissance have uh, basically been just the same as we are in, in, in our time. It's just a different way to struggle with the problems there too. This year, for me, for my character, the costumes have been more precise and more uh, grown up as I did, <laughs> as I said. Sergio is a genius to show the feelings my character have with the costumes. It's, it's incredible, yeah, I love it. I think I spend like one hour, one and a half hour in the hair department every morning. And they keep my color and they put a wig on the back of my head to make it longer to be able to, to, to create CAD or whatever, to create pictures on my head, I don't know, <laughs> which is incredible. Being back in Barrandov and Martininsky Palace feels just like coming back to a part-time home. I don't know, <laughs> because you spend so much, time, so much time in there and you know every corner of, of the location, kind of, and you know where everything is. Yeah, it feels very much home-like, which is weird. <laughs> Mark, John and me are definitely becoming more of a family in a way, because you play, um, I mean, we play a family, so sometimes I feel like John is a father as well and uh, Mark is a, is a brother for me, but I think that's kind of normal and we spend so much time together and it's so much fun to, to be together. The connection between everyone yes, hello. is so strong, so open as well, like there's nothing you feel ashamed of. If you forget your lines, it's, it's all right because and you, don't, you don't have so much pressure anywhere. It's incredible, it's just, um, it's, I think it's so unique, you find that not very often and it's beautiful. <laughs>